last week as we tied off the lines in a new, unfamiliar country, Tunisia. I don't know where I'm going, rolling blind, as long as I've got you by my side in the red moonlight. Since then, Riley, Yosha and I have been making the most of our days exploring the country. <laughs> We are in the Grand Mosque and Raleigh is a hunchback. Confident memories of summer rain on We have just stumbled across the coolest shop I've ever seen. This stuff is like hundreds and hundreds of years old. This is the coolest shop I've ever been in. I know. <laughs> Honestly. Look at this. I want everything. You could decorate an entire house with this shop alone. I went in the toilet and I started urinating in what I thought was the urinal and it was like a wash basin oh and no. Sammy was like no my friend no <laughs> not here here and I was like oh sorry oh, no. Sammy and there was people behind me oh no oh no I'm just there going <laughs> that's not good no it wasn't it was Yosha's last night with us on board before she flew back to Malta we went to the ancient, abandoned Berber village of Takrona and found a rooftop to watch the sunset. Sesh carried on until our friend would be leaving us for a midnight flight. Take me to the river. I wanna go. What is life? Oh, it's so hard to put into words. It's extremely difficult to put into words how I feel right now. I've been extremely busy when I first met you guys in Malta. It was like, you know, we just met. Obviously, we know each other from YouTube and from the sailing community and blah, blah, blah. When you asked me to join on the passage, I was like so busy with painting and creating stuff and I was almost not going to come because I had so much stuff going on. But I'm so glad that I did because spending the past week with you guys has just exceeded my expectations of connection. Yeah, it's been truly profound, I would say. Mm -hmm. I just want to extend my gratitude to you guys. You, you guys are honestly amazing. I feel like we're kindred, kindred spirits. First time for me sailing on a big cat. It's a very different sensation to a monohull. But your boat is honestly incredible. Like, our passage over was just amazing. I learned a lot. Thank All you. Right. We love you, Yosha. Safe flight home. <laughs> 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 You can hear them, they're really loud. Oh. It was a good start to the morning, having fueled up and left Tunisia. Once we got out of buoy territory, we were in the open sea, heading to Sardinia, a journey 260 nautical miles northwest. ETA, two days. Weather conditions, awful. We would have a headwind, that is us beating into the wind for the entire time. 
But Sardinia was just a stopover. We were actually on our way to Menorca to meet up with our patrons in a week's time. So it was what we had to do to get there on time. Keep glass on a catamaran, they said. It would be fun, they said. Knots of apparent beating into it. <clears throat> Am I supposed to be going up there? Um, so we're going to stay on this tack for a while and then we're going to tack and head north. It was a pretty exhausting 24 hours, and for the first time, we were too tired to film. On the second night though, it calmed right down for us and we had a few hours of bliss. Marina Calaceta, Marina Calaceta, the vagabond. Um, we require assistance. One of our engines is not working. Is it possible for a dinghy to meet us? Yep, the port side engine was cactus and we needed to get a tow in. Yes, it's possible. Thank you very much. We are maybe two Our minutes. guy arrived to help us in. With one engine and a bit of speed, La Vaga is pretty easy to control in a straight line, but when you're going slow and need to manoeuvre the boat in a small space, one engine just wasn't going to work. Once we got in, our friend slowly pushed us onto the outer dock and we tied off nicely. It was all fine until some strong winds came that afternoon. What's going on? The lads are going to spin us around without us turning the engine on. It's a nice little bit of rigging. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> better off front onto the wind using the mooring lines to hold us off the dock rather than tied side on how we were. We are expecting about 30 knots of wind to last for the next 24 hours. Well the three Italiano lads came over and helped us spin the boat around because there's a pretty serious breeze coming from over here. And we still have one engine. Yeah, we've only got the one engine, so they politely came over. They were perhaps a little gung-ho and um, we had to go and quickly grab some ropes and there's barnacles and I've sliced my hand open, which is the latest in a series of boo-boos. Yeah, <laughs> the boys have just gone to find us a, what do you call it? Paracella. Paracella. Which Paracella. We don't have on the boat for some odd reason. I think it's too heavy. Is that right? Self-imposed weight restriction. Yeah. Hello. Hello. My name is Han Daoming. <laughs> All right. What's going on, Elena? Well, I can't exactly say it's a day to celebrate, but it first kind day of is. winter. Yeah. Actually, I don't know what the first official day of winter is, but it's getting so cold that we've had to go into the forward cabin and unbury this gigantic container of all of our winter clothes. It's about 15 degrees and you want to go to Svalbard. I know. <laughs> there we go. Oh, my red jacket. Yay. This is a pretty sad day, isn't it? Sad, but also exciting. Looking forward to the change, but I know I'm going to regret saying that in a few weeks. <laughs> yeah. Long beanie. Long lost beanie. How did it get so cold in like we went to Tunisia, then we came here, and all of a sudden it's freezing. Yeah. It's looking pretty ominous at the moment. We need to stop complaining about the Even cold. We're going to Svalbard, we need to stop complaining about the cold. Let's oh, embrace don't go. it. <laughs> we haven't seen storm clouds like this in a while. There's a stack of lightning. 
and we probably didn't pick the best night to go roaming the streets because I think it's going to buck it down with rain but classic bit of sail vlogging right here I've got a camera in one hand and a dirty stinking bag of rubbish in the other <laughs> the town of Calaceta is actually an island southwest of Sardinia called Sant'Antioco with only around 3,000 locals living there it was pretty quiet while it poured down outside, we were indoors playing pinball in a bar. Oh, one hand, you want me to hold it? <laughs> Quick! Alright, alright, check it out. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so I realised that the negative was in the wrong position, but we hadn't changed it. So I put the negative back. Um, I've tried uh, connecting both engines and trying to start it like you showed me to make sure it wasn't a battery and, problem. Yes. And you have you have no you have no power. Have you got anything on the on the engine panel? No. Okay. Uh, then. I think if you have nothing, maybe you, uh, you uh, when you connect the, the two engine batteries together, you have nothing, okay? No. And I think you have a problem, you have a problem on the MDI box. Yeah, me too. Did you try to, did you try to change it? No, I wanted to talk to you and then I would um, change it, but that's what I think as well. Yes. To sum it up, I changed out the MDI control box, which is the electrical component of the on switch for the engine. So no one... So he just confirmed what you were guessing, but you didn't want to go ripping it apart? I thought I'd speak to him first, yeah. He's good, Stefan. I like him. And it's awesome to have the correct spares standing by. That never would have happened on our first boat, Alana. Nah. Never, ever. You ready, Riley? Yeah. With a fixed engine and the weather having cleared up, my mood was lifted. While there was sunshine, we planned to explore Calisetta before we would set sail to Menorca to meet our patrons. So join us next week for another adventure. As always, thanks for watching and please like and share this video with your friends if you liked it. Cheers. Ready, wait, wait. Shoot. No, I can't do it like that. Alright, alright. Maybe we can just, can we go like this or something? Wait, I'm trying to be sexy but it's not working. How do you be sexy with the camera? I don't know.